Hey, this is Jen from Scan and Cut Jam Sessions and Scan and Cut Canvas and Scalp Help on Facebook. This is the using the pens to create more than just an outline. Alright, so I have the file over here. I sent it via my USB cord. Okay, so and you know that. Um, using that technique that I just showed you in scale. You can pretty much fill the entire letter in and have a completely colored in font. Okay. Let's, let's decrease this. Let's make it a little bit smaller. I'll take it down to six. Bring it up and over. Okay. 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 Now I'll show you what I have for settings. Draw speed, I bumped that up to four. My draw pressure I have down, and I'm actually going to take it down even farther. I don't want to bust the tips. I want to keep them as sharp as possible. So I keep my draw pressure low. Oh. I'm so used to hitting the cut. Okay. And we let her go to work. And because we're working in scale, I have not tried this yet in Canvas, but that's an awful lot of lines. And I'm sure in Canvas that would probably shut us down because of the 300 line limit, 2 megabyte rule. But because we did this in scale and everything was unioned, that makes it one, um, one item. But look at this coming out so cool. All right, I'll come back when it is fully done. Just look at that though. <laughs> If you set your line distance um, in the settings, you know, when we were in the settings screen, I opened them up. If you close that gap, that will pretty much make it a solid font. So if you want to bring your fonts in and close that gap down, and I'll do a phone video and just post it to our group, Scan and Cut Canvas and Scal Help, to show you what I'm talking about. All right, I'll come back when she's done. Okay, here it is done. And it looks like I need to increase my pressure because you see that far side there did not color all the way. So it looks like right here did not color. But that's okay. This is just a test piece for me. So I know that I will have to increase my pressure to get it to color all the way. But I'll also go in and re-calibrate um, the screen and the cutter thing. But look at that. Isn't that awesome? Oh. I put it in the light so you can see it a little better. That is just absolutely awesome. Alright, so that is how you go about getting color into your uh, fonts. Um, for the scan and cut, um, using sure cuts a lot for the regular uh, version. Okay, guys, thanks a lot. If you need any more assistance, you can find us over at Scan and Cut Canvas and Scal Help on Facebook. Thanks, guys.